The big thing is sometimes people will sharpen. What you want to make sure you do is you want to do the whole, this is pretty sharp too, tip to heel and use the whole stone. Sometimes chefs will be in a hurry and they'll just like rub this part here, which we know is the main part of the knife we're cutting with. And then they might just rub in the middle of the stone. So if you get a job somewhere and you ask where the stone is and it's been like a sway back, that's probably because it's just been worn out in that one spot. This takes the burrs off. After you've polished or done your nails, this is kind of the same thing. It gets all those little pieces of metal that you just shaved off, off your knife. Because they're really not big enough to see with the naked eye. But if you took a magnifying glass or a microscope, you would probably see. Okay, before we get started, who can tell me the angle? 25. Okay, it's going to be 22. 22. Yeah, so 90 degrees is an, like an L. Half of 90 degrees is 45. And half of that again, 22, 22 and a half. That's about the right angle you want to do. There's several ways to sharpen a knife. I'm just going to show you one. Then throughout the day, we'll all watch. You can come up. I know I'm standing right in front of you, Gonzalo. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. We're going to put a little bit of oil on it. And for safety reasons, it's always two hands. Okay, it's probably a good idea to stand up because you have better leverage than when you're sitting down. And I'm going to use this hand, put it on the blade, and push down. And on my hand that's holding it, and I'm doing this right-handed today, is the thumb is on the top. So I'm applying pressure down here onto this. I'm going to start from the heel and go to the tip and corner to corner. And I'm just going to go several times. My knees are a little loose, kind of like I'm getting ready to serve with a tennis ball. And whatever I do on one side, I'm going to do on the other. So I did that, what, five or six times? So all I'm going to do now, see I'm going this way. All I'm going to do now is simply flip the knife over and then go this way. The blade should always be facing kind of away from Always for safety, make sure there's something under here. So I have a wet towel. Because once I saw somebody and it was terrible. They just went like that, pulled the whole thing off. So sometimes accidents like that happen. You don't want that to happen on your watch. So one way, and then the other. Is this the only way to sharpen a knife? Absolutely not. Just remember, you're not going to go up one side and down the other. Okay, you want to, whatever you do on one side, some people like to push it, that's fine. Some people go this way, that's <coughs> fine. Just remember you want to be even because it's a, it's a sharp edge. When you're done, and sometimes it takes a little bit of time, when you're done with it, take it, give it a little wipe off, and then the same angle on your stone. I'm going to hold it with my wrist, I'm going to go down, two, three, four, okay? Or some chefs like to go like this. One, two, three, four. You're not going up one side and down the other, okay? You're going down, down. And then she takes the boards up. This is a homing steel. I could work a butter knife all day on this. It's not going to get sharp. But what this does is it brings back an edge. So maybe you've got a nice sharp knife, but after cutting vegetables for an hour or two at work, or boning at chickens, you hit it back on the steel, it'll bring the edge back a little bit. Okay. Okay, that's what that's for. Okay. And then of course, as always, if you want to wash your knife, make sure that it's, you've got all that gunk off, and then you're good to go. Okay.